Hello class, welcome to 3.6, solve applications with linear inequalities. We have only one objective, which is directly to solve applications with linear inequalities. And so um, we look at the first problem. Uh, before that, I do want to draw your attention to the fact that we are looking at linear inequalities. Okay. So if it's inequalities, we have certain language in the problem that suggests that. Okay. So um, at least, at most, a maximum of, a minimum of, and, and words like that usually indicate inequalities, okay? Does not exceed uh, limits to and a budget problem, you know, things like that. So keeping that in mind, uh, we will read the first one. Dawn won a mini grant of $4,000 to buy table, uh, sorry, to buy tablet computers for her classroom. The tablets she would like to buy cost $254.12 each, including tax and delivery. What is the maximum number of ta tablets Dawn can buy? <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, let's look at the problem again. Dawn won a mini grant of $4,000. So that's the total uh, money she has. And the tablets each costs $254.12. And we're asked to find the maximum number of tablets she can buy. See the hint right there is maximum number which means it's to do with inequality. So um, at least uh, when we read the problem, you want to identify that this is an inequality problem. Because when you see this problem out of the blue in the, in the exam or anywhere else, you don't have the benefit of the, the section title to know what this comes under. So you really have to look for clues and pretend that this was not falling in the section if it was just a problem given to you how do i know if it's an equation or an inequality well the word maximum kind of gives you a hint on that particular part all right uh, what are we looking for we're looking for the maximum number of tablets so for now let's just say um let's call n is the number of tablets she can buy in that money Again, this might be intuitive to some of you, but remember we always do it in a mathematical way. This is an algebra course. We expect you to show the mathematical systematic way of doing it. So step three is to, oops, step three is where I should have a, uh, named our N. Um, I know it's a little slow for us, right? So uh, I will just, I made a little correction here. So this will be maximum number of tablets. And I will simply call this as N equals number of uh, tablets. Okay, now we need to translate this into an um, equation. It says equation because that's a general way, but we know the equation here is actually an inequality. Okay. So um, we, we, we have to kind of frame the, the, the idea from the question itself. Okay. So her budget okay, is $4,000 and she has the price Per tablet, she knows that. Okay, times number of tablets must be less than or equal to four thousand. How did I come up with that? Because that is the maximum, right? She has to remain at four thousand or less than four thousand to remain within budget. So the inequality comes from the fact that. She can only go up to a maximum of 4,000. A maximum of 4,000 means 4,000 or less. So uh, from this, I translate um, the price per tablet is given to us. What was it? 254.12, dollars so times, do we know the number of tablets? No, we don't, but we do have a variable to identify it, which is N is less than or equal to 4,000. All right, we now got a problem to solve. Uh, we um, will write this as 254.12 N less than or equal to 4,000. Okay, I, I got this from step four. Then we need to divide both sides by 254.12. Let freeze our N. N is less than or equal to, use your calculator, that comes out to be 15.74. Okay. 
Uh, they want us to um, get a maximum number of tablets, and tablets must be full tablets, right? <laughs> you can't really have partial tablets, broken tablets, and all that. So whole tablets means you have to round this number. Well, if you looked at it mathematically, right, it rounds up to a 16. But if you look at it practically, the budget only allows for 15.74. So what about the remaining quarter of a tablet? We don't have money, funds for that. So even though she has, she might be left over with extra money, a uh, little bit, it still does not help, have in, it's still not enough to cover for the 16th tablet. So we have to kind of limit this to n less than or equal to 15, right? To stay under budget. So round it to 15, don't go by the mathematical rounding here, go by the practical rounding. This uh, needs to be checked now, so let's check. If, I, if, if, if Dawn bought 15 tablets times 254.12, right? That's the price per tablet. Let's check that, 15, 15 times 254.12. Point. Okay, that comes out to be three thousand eight hundred eleven dollars. Okay, eleven dollars. Let's say you rounded it to sixteen because you thought that was a better way to do it. Check it. Okay. You want to stay under uh, four thousand, so sixteen times two fifty four point one two is 4,065.92. Okay, she's $65.92 over budget. That is something she cannot afford. This is under budget. And then we say, yes, it makes sense. It makes sense to round it down in this case, right? To round to 15 tablets. Okay, now we'll come back and complete the sentence. Just say, Dawn can buy a maximum of 15 tablets. Pete works at a computer store. His weekly pay will be either a fixed amount, $925, or $500 plus 12% of his total uh, sales. Okay. So this is, sounds like a commission work, right? So if they, do, if they exceed sales, then they earn more. If not, they get a fixed low uh, salary. So the question says, uh, how much should his total sales be for his variable pay option? to exceed the fixed amount of 925. Okay. If he doesn't meet, uh, or, or rather not meet, if he doesn't exceed that target, he's not gonna get that extra pay, right? So let's uh, try to understand this by uh, maybe highlighting the ones we have. So this is the fixed amount, and this is the variable amount, right? 925 is fixed, but uh, 925 is the, the, the lowest he'll get, but if he does well in his sales, he can exceed that amount. So what should be his total sales, or how much should be his total sales to exceed the fixed amount? Again, the clue exceed tells you it's an inequality problem. Okay, now let's identify what we're looking for. We're looking for how much total sales. It's sales, so let's give it a letter S. S is total sales. All right, we move to step four, which is where we'll translate, okay? So what we understand is if we did $500, that's, that's kind of fixed, plus 12% of his total sales, if you did that, that, will, that should exceed 925. Exceed means to go more than 925. So let me come down here and write the sentence. So he is getting $500 plus 12% of total sales will exceed 
is 925, right? So let me put that in um, a mathematical form. So 500 plus 12 percent is 0.12, and we said we want the sales to be s. So off means multiplication. Sales is s. Exceeds. We need to use an inequality. Exceeds means more than. So it's a strict inequality. Strictly greater than 925. It's not greater than or equal to. Right? It's going to be definitely more than 925. That's the that's the contract right with his commission okay so it's now time to start doing the math part of it 500 plus 0.12 s greater than 925 subtract 500 on both sides so it goes over to the right 0.12s greater than 425. So the problem continues on the other part. Uh, divide both sides by um, 0.12. S is greater than Use your calculator that gives us 3541.66. Actually, that goes on, right? Yeah. Uh, well, this is sales amount. So, how do you think we should round this? Yeah. We should uh, round it to the nearest cent, right? So, that goes without saying. Nearest cent is two decimal places. Before that, let's just check if this stays within budget. Okay. We need to check that before we declare that, that part. All right, so uh, we need to do 500 plus 0.12 times um, 3541.6. If we round it, it becomes 67. Round it to the nearest cent, right? Let's see if this exceeds uh, 925. So I put a question mark over that. So point two. Okay, so I get nine twenty five point zero 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 four greater than nine twenty five. Is that a true statement? Yes, it's a true statement. It's pathetic uh, that it's uh, slightly more, but what but this tells us is you know he really has to have at least a, a, you know, that amount of sales, but you know, that is being very accurate. But to kind of round it, you know, anything more than $3,542 worth of sales would give him um, you know, additional salary, right? So yes, it makes sense. Okay, and uh, we'll come back and conclude this. What was the name, Pete, I think. Yeah, Pete. Um, Pete must make a total, must make more than, okay, right? Must make more than three five four one point six seven dollars in total sales you can put in your own words you can lift the sentence from the problem but that's how we conclude please remember to attach the dollar symbol and to round it to the nearest cent okay sergio and lizette have a very tight vacation budget they plan to rent a car from a company that charges $75 a week plus 25 cents a mile, 0.25 dollars, right? How many miles can they travel and still keep within their $200 budget? You can scan the problem, highlight the ones um, that are important. They have a very tight budget. That kind of tells us they have to stay within their plans. So. Um, 
Okay, $75 a week plus 25 cents a mile, okay? And their budget is $200. Now you see, you see that uh, phrase that says, still keep within, right? Within is a limitation, that means it's an inequality. And we are looking for how many miles, lifting it straight from the problem. So um, let's call it M is the number of miles. This way they can plan their destination so that it remains or stays within that uh, limit that they can travel because the number of miles determines their, their cost, right? Okay. So now in step four, we're gonna write the sentence from the problem and then translate it to an equation, or in this case, inequality. Okay, so we are told uh, there is a fixed uh, charge of $75 plus 0.25 dollars, which is 25 cents, which is uh, the number of, that is for one mile, right? So that times, the number of miles that they have to travel. And they want to stay within budget. Within budget means 200 is the budget, so they have to stay less than or equal to that budget. They cannot go more than 200. Therefore, we now have to translate this completely. 75 plus, that's 0.25 times number of miles. We're calling it M, so let's keep it M, less than or equal to 200. Okay. All right, we've got a problem to solve. 75 plus 0.25 M is less than or equal to 200. Okay, subtract 75 on both sides. Point two five M less than or equal to 125. Divide both sides by 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Okay, so use your calculator, M M is less than or equal to, actually it comes out to be a nice uh, round number, so we really don't have a problem rounding it, right? It comes out as exactly 500. So if they stayed um, under 500 miles, yeah, they can do, they're gonna stay within their budget. So let's check this um, to make sure. 75 plus 0.25 times the 500 miles we just came up with. Is that less than or equal to 200? That's our question. So, um, seven, so I'll do the calculation. The thing is I can't calculate and talk. So. Okay, that's 75 plus 125. Equal to 200, so that's 200. That's going to be equal to 200. All right, on it's a true statement 200 is not less than 200. That will be false. That equals bar there makes all the difference because 200 equals 200 in that equals bar. So we got the check working. Yes, it makes sense. And we will say. Sergio, and Lizette can travel 500 miles, sorry, miles, and still stay on, stay within budget. I hope that helps. Thank you, Klaus. See you in the next video.